how to add a new user in Shortel Mobility. So first thing we want to do, there's a couple step process here. We want to go into Shortel and we want to add a new user. So let's just call this um, Mike Michael McDonald. His number is 796, a three digit extension. Extension to mailbox, is everything else normal. So you set all these parameters as you would normal. The key part here is when you scroll down, what you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to allow enhanced mobility with extension. That is going to give an arbitrary number. And when I do that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to always make sure that I change this password before I save it. Because what it's going to do is create a new user with another extension number. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to say password is going to be 1, two, one through 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, Shortel, uh, most SIP devices require four digit passcodes, and Shortel requires six. So before I do that, I'm going to make sure I change these SIP passwords, and then I'm going to hit save. Okay, so what it did was when I did the mobility extension, it actually said that, hey, this mobility extension was the exact same as the user extension. So let's just call this person 797. Same thing, let's just make sure the password's there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because what happens is sometimes you'll get those um, security, but the password hasn't actually been set. So now I'll hit save. And once it'll do that, now with that extension, it is going to create, once I hit save, it's going to create an associated SIP extension to allow for the SIM ring. So I'm just going to wait for this to save. Okay, so now if I go to my individual users, I'm going to see a couple things. If I scroll down here to see Michael McDonald, I'm going to see Michael McDonald's settings that we just looked at. And I go back and I'll see another user saying Michael underscore McDonald 796. This is the, his actual SIP profile. And the SIP profile to that extension, you'll notice that this will all be grayed out. I can't actually make any changes because this is how short tell SIM rings. So why that's important is I cannot change this password anymore. So it's actually changed in the user profile. But the one thing I'm going to use here is I'm going to take his first name or his registration name client username, which is Michael McDonald. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to go to the sh I'm going to go to the short term mobility and add it in as a user. So I'm going to move that out. I'm going to bring in my mobility. Okay, in short term mobility, I'm going to go into configuration. I'm going to go into users. You can see the users we have on the system. I'm going to hit add, add a new user. And you select the group that they belong to their user ID, which is just going to be their name. So let's just call it, you know, Mike M, his full name. Michael McDonald. Right, uh, a local user means that he's going to have his local password. And now this is his Shortel Mobility client password. It is not authentication on the Shortel PBX. So this is what he would have to put into his mobility client. So we're going to call this change me, one word lowercase, and we're going to enable his extension. Hit next. Okay, so now we're going to put in his enterprise extension. So we're going to say that it's 796. His phone number is 760-444-101796. And PBX size security. This is where he is going to register, or the, the mobility needs to register this client on the PBX. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and paste the client information we just captured, which is Michael underscore McDonald. And again, remember the password was 123456. So I'm going to go 123456. And I'm going to hit apply. Okay. Now, the one thing to note is this forwarding number, this is basically a do not disturb. So if you set anything in the forwarding number, it's always going to forward calls to that number. So we leave that blank. So now that it's applied, I'm going to go into my users. I'm going to see I've got Mike McDonald here. Okay, there's the entry. I'm going to modify it so you can see it up close. 
Okay, everything is taken care of. Now what I want to do is I want to go into monitor and I want to see the status of his profile. So if I go into users and I look at Mike M, you see that there's no device assigned. His extension is 796. He's authorized and his PBX is rejected. So it means it's rejected from the PBX. So his password didn't authenticate off the shortel. Okay, sometimes we'll give it a few minutes to see if it registers, but let's say that it didn't. So we see that this is rejected. So this is the PBX side. So this failed. So the SIP client from the mobility router, the proxy, has not registered to the short help. So I'm going to go in here. One of the things I can do is go into configuration. I'm going to take his profile and I'm going to disable it and re enable it to attempt to get that SIP registration to happen again. Okay, now I'm going to go over to the monitor and I'm going to take a look at his settings and now you can see that it is actually registered. So his phone has registered with the PBX extension 796. Now he's still not provisioned and that's where he goes into the Shortel Mobility Client. But at this point you now have the Shortel Mobility Router configured and registered as a client on the Shortel system. And to prove that we'll just go back into the Shortel Director. We'll go into IP phones, individual IP phones, and if we scroll down to the very bottom, let's show all, show all locations, scroll down to the very bottom, what we should see is we should have an entry of Michael McDonald's SIP registration. So we know that this person has registered to short tail system and that's how you register a phone now all that's left is you have to ask the user to provision their handset and their short term mobility clients onto the system